Well, my name is Lance Weiler. I'm a storyteller. Um, I like to tell stories across film, television, games, things along those lines. I've been making films probably since I was in high school. I uh, just kind of fell in love with cinema. My first camera was a spring wound uh, kind of 16 millimeter camera and I would actually process film in, in my bathtub against my mother's wishes and, and I made a number of movies that way and then kind of evolved into doing stuff with digital technology later after that but worked in production for a while and then just kind of jumped off and started making my own films um, and uh, experimenting all the time. I was sitting in Penn Station one day and I was flipping through a magazine and this was probably 1996 and I was flipping through and I saw an ad for a card that I could put into my computer that would allow me to edit. And so I teamed up with my friend Stefan Avalos and we started building computers with the goal of kind of making a system so we could cut and edit our own work. And, and we were kind of frustrated by the process of, you know, the permission-based culture of making work and thought, well, why don't we build our own computer and see if we can make something for nothing? And so we set out to, to make a movie, which uh, then would become uh, known as The Last Broadcast. And it was really interesting because I think with that, that film, I started to challenge a lot of the conventions of how I was making things because we made it for so little. You know, like when we totaled all the budget, uh, you know, the receipts, it was like $900. So we made this desktop feature film that was like digital for 900 bucks. And um, in the process of doing that, it was incredibly liberating. With the last broadcast, we really wanted to tell a story about the times that we were living in, you know. And what we did, the basic storyline of it, centers around um, kind of this public access show called Fact or Fiction, where these two hosts have the show and the ratings are kind of sliding and they're not sure what to do. And then they receive a viewer's suggestion to do a story about the Jersey Devil, which is this like mythological creature that lives in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, this demon kind of thing. And so they decide that they're going to shoot an episode out there and they assemble a team. They bring a paranormal sound recordist and a supposed psychic and the two hosts and those, those two gentlemen go out into the woods and four of them go out into the woods and only one comes out alive and he's blamed for the murders of the other three. And that's where we enter the story through the eyes of a documentary filmmaker who's trying to figure out what actually happened. And within the movie, we were kind of experimenting with a lot of different things, experimenting with like what's fact, what's fiction, um, you know, kind of playing with the idea of the role of media within a story, and then also looking at how technology can greatly change the way that people interpret, they, like what they believe. And um, the film was really this amazing jumping off point because I think it was this this chance to be incredibly creative. I had been really interested in gaming and Stefan, who I co-made the film with, had been interested in, in you know, gaming and, and storytelling and just kind of building something out that was a little more uh, engaging. And at that time, the web was relatively young, you know, in 96 when we built the first site for it. We thought, well, it might be interesting to do something narratively with this that makes it feel like it's more in the story world of what it is. You know, what if people come into this and they actually think it is a real murder? What if they come onto a, they hear 911 calls and they, they see documentation and court records and things along those lines? And it just felt like a creative exploration. And the movie went on to do phenomenally well, it was made for $900, you know, to date is great. To, you know, close to five million, and is in 20 countries around the world. And and I think the coolest thing it made cinematic history. It became the first all digital release of a motion picture, and that's pretty you know that's pretty exciting when I when I think back on it. But I think at the at the end of the day, really what I'm trying to do with the work and and what it started out even back then was that idea to say, well, a story can be anywhere. Um, and how can we build these really kind of interesting worlds? And how can we let people kind of immerse themselves in it? And so I think Stefan and I kind of were looking and saying, you know, the internet at this point, even in its infancy, is, uh, you know, in 1996, was a, a creative tool. It was something that could extend the story that we wanted to tell. And it was something that we brought into the process of making that film. Hi, my name is Lance Weiler. And you should really subscribe to Thinker, because I do too. <laughs>